Hello, and welcome to James Green's English Classroom. I'm James, and I host a class every day at this time, 13 UTC, 9 o'clock in New York, for open conversation, joining and integrating differences for the purpose of learning English. Today, the schedule is one hour of open conversation. And that's it. And then I'm ending the call. So it's a short schedule today. Sometimes we have um, different teachers, uh, different classes, different subjects. And sometimes it's a shorter schedule, but um, I, I do at least one, I guarantee one hour a day. And that's what I'm doing today. One hour of open conversation. So let's start. Let's join on what we have in common, play to integrate our differences for the purpose of learning English. We're live streaming on YouTube, and if you'd like to speak, just say your name where you're from and speak to the whole group. Hi, Ramesh from Nepal, Amira from Libya, Nargiz from Azerbaijan, Rama from Uganda, and Dalic from uh, Ethiopia living in Italy. Rays, I'm not sure where you're from. Maybe you want to let us know. Who would like to begin to speak? This is Amira from Libya. Um, I want to discuss uh, one topic in the intermediate uh, group about uh, reading uh, and understand uh, the books of apology. Um, I see uh, one of the member or two uh, to discussion about this point, but um, we are um, see difficulty because uh, a lot of vocab uh, we can't uh, understand uh, this vocab and what is the meaning, reality meaning. So um, here, uh, if uh, no problem, James, um, I think uh, tomorrow we'll start to read two books in this group, two, uh, two papers in this group, and uh, maybe we need the help uh, for, uh, from you to uh, demonstration and uh, explanation at some point. Anyone else? Yeah, let me summarize you, Amira. So um, you're referring to the WhatsApp group, the intermediate, James's intermediate class on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a discussion there. People have, um, well, I, I suggested uh, a topic. Somebody asked for a topic yes. for discussion. And I suggested the topic of a book that we've been, some, some people have been reading, um, Plato's Apology. And um, you'd like to discuss that book. You've been reading that book. You'd like to discuss it. And you, you think that there's also, it's also challenging. Some of the vocabulary is challenging, reading it is challenging. And so you would like some support in reading and understanding the book. Is that right? Yeah, you are right. And did you say you wanted to start tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow uh, uh, I and uh, Aisha um, this, uh, take a decision to read two papers and uh, try to understand and discussion about this point. Ah, so you and Aisha made an agreement to begin reading two pages a day or two yeah. pages. And you'll, um, you wanna discuss that in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Okay, great. Say anyone else again. Anyone else? This is Munmi from India. Uh, I'm also reading uh, Apology and I'm trying to, uh, um, I also have gone through some uh, similar links for more information, references, 
and trying to uh, write a summary or like writing in my own language, simple language. Uh, just starting, um, yesterday I started to write with what, I mean, I mean uh, what the accusers uh, accused about uh, Socrates. So the three questions, yeah, just starting with this. Anyone else? I'm going to summarize you, Moonmi. Moonmi, so you're also reading this book, Apology by Plato, and you've begun to read about the book. So there's some people, you know, it's a famous book. It's an old piece of literature. So some people have written and you've you begin reading about it. And then you said writing about it in your own language. I, I think you mean, do you mean writing it, writing about it in your own words in English? Yes, in, in my own words, yes. Yeah, and um, great. And so, and then w- one of the things of the story is that, I mean, it's a trial. So there's some people who are accusing Socrates and yes. you're, you're, you're writing, maybe you're thinking about that. What did they accuse? What were their accusations? Sorry, I didn't hear my, I mean. Uh-huh. Yeah, you just, you're, you're thinking, what are their accusations? What is, an accusation uh, the is. The first one is. Uh, uh, the I'm first not, I'm only, Mumi, Mumi, I'm not asking, I'm not asking you. I'm just summarizing you. I'm just summarizing oh, you. Yes. So, so you don't have to you don't have to say more. But I okay. I, w- I just want to tell people because who might not know what an accusation is, right? An accusation. Okay. If, if you think somebody did something bad, you say that they did something. That's an accusation, right? You stole my cookie. Yeah. That's an accusation. I'd say you know what you did bad or something. That's it. I just wanted to summarize you. Say anyone else again, Moonmi. Thank you. Uh, anyone else? Now, uh, if you don't know this book, don't you don't need to be left feel left out. Not everyone read this book. Not everyone is reading this book. Not everybody wants to read this book, and that's fine. You mm. might you might join Amira and Moonmi just on. Uh, sharing what activities you're working on for yourself in this group or to learn English. I'm going to mute you more just because there's some noise. As I was saying, you might just come in and join or we join on similarities. You might join on what you're doing. Some meaningful activity to you. Hi, Frida. Hi, Annabelle. Hi, Minaj. Hi, Nargiz. Hi, Saiba. Odile. Rafi. Hi, Ahmed. Asir. Tasif, Habib, would you like to speak? No? Okay. (coughs) If you're not speaking, please mute yourself. If I see you are unmuted and not speaking, I may mute you just to, so we have to hear each other easily. Like right now, Rays is not speaking and he's unmuted. I want, so I, I want to speak, please. Go, can you yeah. hear me? Yes, I can. Tosif, where are you from? Tosif, where are you from? What I'm country? from Pakistan, Islamabad, from Pakistan. Islamabad, Pakistan. And what what level is your English? Beginner, intermediate, or advanced? I think so, uh, intermediate. Okay, great. Great. Go ahead and speak. So what I should speak, what I should say. Now, you you, no, 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 Tasif. You started by saying, I want to speak. And that's a great start. Okay. Uh, I want to speak. 
and in uh, enhance my english level uh, international language. Uh, as it is a international language and i love to talk in this uh, language tasif and uh, yes i hear somebody is coaching you there is somebody telling you what to say <laughs> <laughs> you are you are right. My wife is sitting beside me. That's okay. I That's okay. Oh, so she also want to learn. She also want to learn and welcome. she she is asking yeah. me to let me talk. Megan, That's you okay. Say, you can now, talk. Ho, slow down. Slow down. Welcome. That's okay. That's okay. I just want to know. Just, so we have who who is with us? I like to know. So what what's your name? She, 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 Name. My name is Salma Toshi. Okay, I need some help with that. Salma Toshi? Yes, Salma Toshi. Okay. Salma Toshi and yes. Tausif. Uh Tausif or Salma Toshi, would you write that in 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 Zoom so I can remember it's like Tausif and Salma Toshi so then I will remember who is there. And uh I I like to talk to maybe one person at a time. So who wants to go first? Tausif or Salma Toshi? Tu sera votre conseil. Tausif, do you want to yes. talk? Yeah. Let's let's stay with you. We were talking and you're saying Yes. Now your internet is slowing down, so we'll just check if you can hear me. Okay. Okay. Tausif, your internet is slowing down, so I'm going to mute you just for for a minute you? if If you want to come yes, back yes, feel yes, free. Okay. Well, okay. your internet your internet is not actually, working. I'm using... And actually now so let me tell you. No, no, no. So hold on. I muted you. And and sometimes Zoom is slow. I can't I try to mute Tasif and I can't. Uh Tasif, wait a minute or two. Come back in next. Let's see yes. maybe your internet is better. Who was speaking just now started to speak? Okay, uh -huh. let me let me speak first. Let Raze, me let me speak first. Raise. Yes, yes. Where are you from? Okay, uh yes, the fit I'd like to introduce myself for you first. So, I am Raise and I'm from It's Timer. I'm sorry, where? I'm from It's Timer. East Timor. Okay. And what is your yes. English level? Beginner, intermediate or advanced? Uh -huh. I reckon that my English is uh, my English level is advanced. Great. Uh, go ahead. Speak to the group. What would you like to say, Ray's from East Timor? Yeah, but uh, the the first I'd like to tell a little bit about my culture, about my country here, so that you can know very well about my my country because uh, my country is really petite all over the world. So when I speak with foreign people with uh foreign people from other country, they always say to me that they don't not really know about my country. So that's why so in this time I'd like to tell a little bit about my country. Okay, Rez, you'd like to introduce your country. Yes. Can I can I make a suggestion? Yes, please. Yeah. Now it's the is this the first time you came here? Yes. Yeah, I have I have an idea. I think that people are yeah. I could be wrong, but I think people are curious about you. I think people are curious about East Timor. I'm curious about East Timor. But right now, yeah. I want to encounter East Timor through encountering yeah. you. So mm -hmm. before you introduce East Timor, would you tell us a little bit about yourself? When you come into a group and you meet people for the first time, people are naturally yeah. people are naturally curious about you, the person. Mm -hmm. Would you tell us a little bit about yourself, and we'll we'll actually learn about East Timor through that. Oh, that's great! But yeah, maybe. It's uh, only a few people just learn about our country, but there are a lot of people don't know about our country. That's why I'd like to introduce a little bit of my country for all of you here that participate in the- I, uh, I understand. I understand, Reis. You really would like to talk about East Timor. Would you tell me what I said though? Yes, I gotcha. Yeah, what did you get? 
yeah, I get that. Uh, this is uh, so we are uh, our June meeting. So uh, maybe teacher don't want me to introduce uh, my uh, my our my country. So yeah, that's it. No, thank you. That's not that's not what I mean. I'm very happy to for you to introduce your country and your culture. I'm I am curious about it. I sure. Yeah, I am sure. Do you believe me? Yes. Okay. Now, I am, um, oh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, gosh, I just forgot it. Oh, Wait, that's okay. Uh, uh, give, give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, okay. Um, gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. What I wanted to say is this is not a geography class. Mm -hmm. This is an English class. And so... Yeah. Um, it's also not a philosophy class. However, we, we can learn about philosophy and we can learn about geography if, mm -hmm. we, have, if we have a foundation mm -hmm. for learning together. And, 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 mm -hmm. and, and part of the foundation is our, our relationships to each other. So yeah. if we don't have a way to relate to each person, by knowing just a little bit about them, it's hard mm -hmm. to get interested in the philosophy. It's hard to get interested in the in the culture in the same way. Can you tell mm -hmm. me what I said? Okay, so that you say that uh, to learn about the philosophy and geography, uh, philosophy and geography, maybe like that. So uh, to try to connect each other or try to create a relationship with it, a uh, relationship to each other, right? That's right. That's right, Rays. Yeah. Now, um, yes. I'd like to say that, yeah. Wait, give me a second. I'd like to tell anything about my, my myself. So this is, I'm really happy and I'm really happy to join this meeting because this is my first time I joined this meeting because yesterday uh, we have a meeting June, but I didn't, I didn't join it because I'm a little bit overwhelmed. That's why I didn't join it. Hmm. Yes. Ah, you felt overwhelmed yesterday about the idea of joining my class. Yeah. Yes, because you know that yesterday I I will be uh, uh, up to my neck about my assignments, schools, course, coursework. Huh. Oh, so you, you you had some you were overwhelmed just in general with your life. You had some schoolwork and other things going on. Yes. Got it. And yeah, today today you have a little bit. Uh, it's a little easier for you to join, and so you did. Great. Well, I'm very happy to have you here, Riz. It, um, it's it's really a pleasure to meet you. You are you are the first person I have ever mm -hmm. met. you're the first person I have ever met from East Timor. Yeah, maybe because uh, there are uh, once of a blue moon join the any meeting group or join the WhatsApp group. So we are here. We are here rarely during the uh, English conversation. They are not really interested to about the English. Oh, you're telling me that people from East Timor are not interested in English? Uh, no, actually they are interested, but they are not really interested to join the uh, WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp group or okay. Instagram, yeah, like that. Well, I don't know about that. I, I, I don't know if they're interested in WhatsApp or in English or not. I just know that I've never met anyone from East Timor. Yeah, maybe because you know that East Timor is really petite all over the world. Hmm. Our country is really a small country. Can, yeah, I, 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 think, uh, I think some people know the word petite. Uh, it's, 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 it's an interesting uh, word in that it's it's kind of an English word. It's a borrowed word from French, and people who know English tend to know petite means little. But some people who are learning English as a new language, they might not know the word petite. So I just tell people petite means little or small, right? So or few. Yeah. There's, there's few people from East Timor around the world. Absolutely, big on that. Yeah. Great. Now, Ray's. Uh, you could say anyone else and see if somebody else would like to join you. 
Okay, so anyone else? Nice. Really good. And I just want to remind people about the schedule. It's a it's a it's one hour class today, and then I'm ending the call. So there's 40 minutes. We've got 40 minutes for today left. This is Amira from Libya. Um, I want to change the topic. If uh, that's uh, okay. Uh, hi. Hi guys, uh, I want to change the topic. If uh, you are okay, please thumbs up. Uh, thumbs up. So, what Amira is doing is something that we can do in this group. If you're if you're interested in a different something different than what people are talking about, you can talk about something different. If you get the groups agreement, right? You don't want to do it by yourself, but if the group says, yeah, let's do something else. And that's why people are giving their thumbs up and there's like seven or eight people gave their thumbs up. Um, you can talk about something else. So I saw a bunch of thumbs up. If you didn't want to, you could give a thumbs down, but I didn't see any thumbs down. So go ahead, Amira, you can change the topic. Yes, um, my topic, uh, I want a discussion about uh, time management skills. Um, I see uh, sometimes, uh, for my opinion, sometimes I have uh, a lot of uh, hours in my days and uh, other, uh, other days uh, I, I can't uh, control uh, for my time at all. Um, I think I miss it a lot of things uh, when I do. Sometimes I do a schedule to uh, doing something, but um, I can't do all, uh, all of things in this schedule. Um, mm -hmm. Anyone else? Hello, everyone. I, I am talking. I am Anipa from Kurdistan. Good evening from my side. Thank you, Amira, uh, giving the topic about the time. I want to uh, tell about the time. Uh, I think time works uh, against to us because when we wait, uh, it will be, it will stop. When we uh, are in a hurry, it will uh, it will be fast and uh, me too in such kind of problem uh, I can't sometimes manage my time and doing things uh, fulfilling the plans and uh, time flies time flies uh, in not uh, we cannot control the time and uh, therefore we I think we have to control our uh, minds in order to manage our time. That's all. Thank you for attention. Anyone else? Yeah, thank you. Ahmed, you have some valuable information for the group. And if you put it into a private message for me, it might get lost. Would you like to take the risk? I know, you, I, I'm guessing you don't want to interrupt what's going on. But um, it might not be an interruption. The group might want to know about that. It's a it's a kind of decision as a co-host to um, make whether or not to jump in and interrupt the teacher or to let the group lose something important. What would you like to do, Ahmed? Actually, just I asked you because we have- uh, here, comes, class. here comes the just. The just. See, I, I was joking yesterday with the just, and I said, uh, I want a t-shirt that says, the just is not just a just. Actually, Ahmed, it's not just that you want to say it. You want to tell it because you know that it's important. So tell us, what's the, the, the news or the, the correction? You want to correct me? Uh, I don't know, because the schedule today, we have another class for the CIMAC from Afghanistan. Just, I wanted to tell you if maybe you forget something. Yeah, I did. I, I missed that on the schedule. We have another class at 16 UTC yeah. by a new teacher, Siamek from Afghanistan. So yeah. this class is not the only class. There's another class uh, in two and a half hours from Siamek. And uh, you wanted people to know about that. I think that's very helpful because I would not have caught that. Thank you, uh, Ahmed. Now, back.
back to you, Anipa and Amira. Sorry to, for the interruption. It's okay. End end. I, uh, because of the interruption, Anipa, I did not catch what you were saying. I, I think you wanted to join Amira on managing your schedule and your time. Yes, absolutely right. I was telling my thoughts about time. Okay. How does the time work to us? And I said that uh, uh, time works against our thoughts when we wait and time also when we in a hurry, when we are um, doing something, time fast, very, wait, time, um, time speed is very fast. And uh, we have, to, I, I also have a problem about time manage. Sometimes I also uh, have, to waste, have to waste my time, my um, valuable time, but I will try to do my best to make time in my manage. Therefore, I think I will, I will have to get more, more clear mind not to waste yet the time. That's all. Thank you for uh, anyone else. Yeah, Anipa, you'd like to use your time well, get better at it. And you're saying that when you you when you're busy time feels fast time feels like it travels faster than when you don't have things to do yes okay who would like to and join the huh? mm -hmm. okay that's uh, that's right it's uh, my condition about time who'd like to join anipa um hi hi everybody um, oh, I'm name, old. Na <laughs> name, country, level of English. Oh, okay. Uh, that's my first time in this conversation or in this meeting. Uh, I'm Am, and I, I'm an Egyptian. Okay, I'm from Egypt. Um, I Be beginner. Know, I don't know about my level in English. Actually, I didn't take any tests or any professional tests, but I think my level is like advanced or, or almost fluent. So I have no idea about my level, my my level. And I'm sorry for interruption for uh, the topic running on, but I was just curious about what uh, the goal of uh, these meetings, you know, that's my first time in this meeting, and I wanted to ask about the goal of this meeting. Sure, welcome. So the goal, the main goal is learning English. Okay, like uh, you are giving like uh, an, an instructions for some to, to, to do some uh, professional tests like IELTS or uh, TOEFL or this uh, this is all like, uh, like how, like learning. English. How, how, great, yeah, great. Amir, so you're curious about how I, as an English teacher, support people to learn English. You're wondering if I use IELTS or some other method. You're curious about my teaching methods. Exactly. Would you, Discover my teaching method by participating in my class. Okay. You, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm this class. I'll, yeah. I'll, you're, I'll, yeah. You're here. You're, you're here. Now, what I'd like you to do is notice anything. You've, we've been in together in class now for 30 minutes. Have you noticed anything about what I do as an English teacher? I don't know, like you are starting a, a topics, a conversation about some topics and you are letting people speak with each other to know each other and speaking in these topics in different ways and different different as, aspects. And this, I don't know <laughs> the exact method, but what that's what I figured out. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, you certainly don't know everything because you just got here and today's your first day, but that sounds pretty close, right? I am making a space where people can talk to each other, raise a topic, and get to know each other and speak in English. That's right. Okay. Now, okay. now, if you'd like to know more about my method and this group and this class, again, I'd like to invite you to, to find out by being here and learning about it in a way that I, I would describe as experientially. 
We learn through the experience of it. Okay, I'm here. I'm in. I'm here. It's, I'm, I'm actually talking to everyone now, right? You've asked a question, and I'm taking the opportunity to let everyone know how I suggest you learn about my teaching and about this group. And I'm pausing. I'm pausing so that I'm speaking more slowly. It's not a pause to invite people to uh, speak, which often we, we, we do, right? When somebody pauses, we think, oh, maybe now's a chance to speak. Actually, I'm not pausing for other people to speak. I'm pausing to slow myself down, to make it easier for people of all levels, advanced, intermediate, beginner, and even, even um, native speakers to, to, to all participate together because this is a mixed level class. Now, I asked if you were uh, aware of anything that I did, and you said a few things that I do, and that's great, but there's something important that you missed that I want to um, point out. One thing that I do as my method for English learning is I ask people to summarize me and each other so that when they listen to something, or they listen to somebody talk, they say what their understanding is and they check their understanding with that person. So I've done that a few times. I've summarized other people. And now I'm not gonna ask somebody to summarize me. Amir, you can do it if you want. If you heard what I said and you'd like to summarize me, you can do it. Or anybody else who wants to summarize me can do it as well. Would anybody like to summarize me? Dalish from Ethiopia. Yeah, go ahead and Dalich. Yeah, he was uh, he was asking you to know the way how you are teaching English, the method. So you tell him, you told him that you are uh, using this method. Uh, no, you invited him to stay with us to if he went to now or your program to follow how he, you are doing. And after you told him even that you are pausing to make clear for others that we, we may follow you without problem, to make us understand you posing. Uh, and uh, uh, the, finally, we, you ask the others to summarize what the others are saying. In this way, we can follow the others, what they are saying, and uh, we can see that we understand the others, what they have been saying. Lovely. Yes, mm -hmm. and Dalit, you got me. Now. Thank you. Over to you, Endalich. You have the floor. <laughs> that is my problem. What can I say? I said I summarized it. <laughs> yes. Yes. So now you need to separate from me and mm -hmm. check with yourself. Take a, take a moment to do that. Separate from me. Yeah. Mm, check with yourself. Hmm, what do I want to say? What, what's interesting to me? What's going on? What am I thinking about? What am I feeling? What, how do I want to come in? How do I want to build this conversation? Yeah, I can share even uh, for these guys, my, my feeling about this summarizing. Uh, in, the, in, the beginning, in the beginning, I was having a problem about thinking and concentrating my, on myself, what I have to say after. But after I started following the others, it helped me to follow what they were saying to understand. Uh, so this summarizing is very important for me. So I can share with him this one. Anyone else? I don't want to summarize anything, but I want to, uh, an, uh, to ask uh, about another, uh, another question actually, okay? So if there is like a specific topic you are speaking about usually, or like you're speaking about random topics in general, like you're speaking like about uh, politics, religion, college, sports, and like a specific topic, or you are just speaking a random topic and you're speaking about it generally. You done? Yep. Okay. So whenever somebody asks a question, I have a question that I ask back, which is, 
Who do you want to know from? Who are you asking? Are you asking me? Are you asking a different person? Or are you asking for the groups, the group as a whole's response? I'm asking generally, anybody can answer me actually. Great. So you're asking the group as a whole, you're open to an answer from anybody. And uh, the way we get an answer from anybody is we say anyone else. And anyone else is an invitation to the whole group. It tells people you're done and you throw it to the group. You might get an answer, you might not, but it throws it back to the group and gives you a chance to get an answer. Would you like to try that? Yep, I'm waiting for the answer from the group. Yeah, so say anyone else. Okay, anyone else? This is Amia. This is Rahma. Ooh, ooh, hold on, Arama and who? Amira, this is Amira from Libya. Okay, now um, um, let's go with Rama. Rama, would you summarize Amir's question? Sure. Um, he's, he's inquiring what, what kind of lessons or lectures we have here. And should I go ahead and answer that or just- No, 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 hold, hold on. So when we summarize someone, I, I strongly suggest that you check with them first, because summarizing someone is a, is a way to understand someone and they're the expert on what they said. So you wanna to talk to the person, you wanna say what you heard, and then you wanna ask them if they, that, was the, that was correct or not. All right, I would love to check with you, Amir. Um, you're inquiring about the lessons oh, we hold here in the James Green English class, am I correct? Yeah, I'm asking about the topics. Great, that's it. So you got it, Rama, you got the question. Now, if you'd like to answer the question, feel free, Rama, or the, see, uh, there's a choice. And, and I use this gesture to point out choices that we have. So the choice would be, you could satisfy Amir's curiosity, or you could join him on curiosity of your own question, right? Because we join in this group. We don't really uh, satisfy people's curiosities. Although you could do that. You could, you could tell Amir what we do, or you could join him with bringing in a question of your own. Which would you like to do, Rama? I'd love to answer. To, Go ahead. To, yeah. Um, all right, Amir, we have different kinds of lessons here that are held every day, 13 UTC in the James Green class. We have the grammar classes, we have the role plays, we have open conversations, but I would say the more you settle with us, the more you get familiar and you get to know all these details, yeah. And that's it, anyone else? Now. This is Amira. Yeah, one, um, one, one, um, one well, hold, hold on, Amira, just one more thing I want to bring in, because this is, this is like, um, it's left open. When we answer somebody's question, we can check with them if they got the answer they were looking for or not. So, Amir, is that, a, did you get the, an answer to your question, Amir? Yeah, that you don't have uh, any specific you topics. You are just speaking about, you can, you are picking around the topic every conversation and you are speaking about it. Yeah. You, you got an answer. That's all I wanted to know. You got an answer to your question. Great. Okay. Over to you, Amira. Okay. Uh, Rahma, uh, you said uh, already answer uh, the question of Amir about uh, how uh, the James class are doing, how to study. Uh, and uh, you are uh, doing uh, well about this uh, class. Uh, and uh, I want to uh, join with the Andalish before Amir jumping uh, in this conversation about uh, his question. Uh, Andalish said uh, the paraphrase uh, of something when uh, listen anybody speaking and the uh, paraphrase. Uh, first of all, uh, he feeling uncomfortable of, about this way because uh, after finish uh, under listen and understand and then the time of speak, uh, she uh, she feeling uh, uncomfortable. But uh, after with the, with time, he feeling uh, very good uh, uh, listen 
and uh, can get it a lot of things when uh, understand uh, the other people. I want to join with Andalish about this way. Yeah. Uh, check Andalish with Rama. Said, you're summarizing Rama. If you don't yeah. check with someone, all your summarizing work can go to nothing. So check with Rama. Okay. Rahma, I'm, I'm right, Rahma. I didn't get you right, uh, Amir. Now, great. So there's a, there's a, a kind of disconnect there. And that happens. So, Rama, it's up to you because you're the one who spoke. It's up to you. If you want Amira to get you or not, you've got to now, you've got to use, get, get some energy to tell her so that you, you, you know, that she can get you in the way that you can understand that she got you, Rama. You don't have to do that. If it's not worth it, just say, well, it's good enough, I'm, I'm fine. But um, if you want Amira to understand what you said, you, you need to work a little bit. Amira, I would love you to no to summarize me. Is that no, what no, no, no. Oh. Sorry, sorry, but it's not about a mirror. It's, it's it's not about a mirror, and it's not about what you want a mirror to do. It's about you telling a mirror what you want her to know. You see, and see, th there's a little bit of a, a noise here because we're we're. Um, there's all there's lots of things going on, uh, accents and stuff. So it's a little bit hard to understand, maybe. But if you didn't understand Amira, chances are she didn't understand you. So if you want her to understand you, you got to tell. You've got to tell her something. And if you don't, you won't be understood, and that's okay. You don't have to be. It's up to you, Rama. That's a tough one. But I did. Uh, it's what? What did you say? I said that's a tough one. Okay, you can. We, let's just go with that, right? So there was a disconnect there. It's fine. Over to you, Amira. Um, I think the mistake from uh, from me because uh, uh, I didn't uh, check with Rahma first uh, before uh, joined uh, with Indalish. Um, that's a, that's a, to... Amira, that's, yeah. a mind, that's a mind read. That's a mind okay. read. You don't know. Okay. Rama, Rama, Rama is, uh, something else is going on. Something else is going on. Don't blame yourself. There's no need okay. to blame yourself, Rama, uh, Amira. Okay. Uh, I'm just uh, say uh, I'm uh, joined with in Danish with uh, how to feeling when the joined this class uh, since uh, four or five months and uh, how to feeling now uh, that's a great uh, feeling and great emotion and he, uh, I am very happy about uh, this way for uh, uh, conversation. Anyone else? Now I'm gonna jump in here because we have a silent subgroup. The silent subgroup is people who have not spoken. And I'd like to know um, if people who have been silent would like to say anything. So silent subgroup is Maruf, lovely actor, Zainab, Rosa from Mexico, Odil, Imam. Um, um, I think that's Maruf uh, in Italy. Naim in Indonesia, Maradi, Aso, Eric. Hello, sir. Who said hello, sir? There's Saiba. Good evening, sir. Who said good evening, good evening. sir? Saiba? Saiba, Saiba, yes. Yeah, Saiba in India. Go ahead. Yeah, I would like to tell you that uh, uh, from last two weeks, I joined this class and it's really interesting and uh, we know uh, I joined many uh, English grammar classes and uh, mostly I uh, join English grammar classes. I don't want to conversate with people too much here because uh, due to shortness of time and due to very little time and uh, we are busy somewhat and uh, somewhat nice and uh, somewhat out from home. That's why I didn't uh, join uh, during uh, people's conversation to each other. 
Yeah. Great. Great to hear your voice, Saiba. Um, other people in the silent subgroup, Anaj, Ahmed, Frida, Bill, Islam, anybody want to say something? Hello, Zainab from Pakistan. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, after one week, I'm joining these meetings and I really miss it. But now I'm, I will join on daily basis because I was busy last week. And uh, uh, here, basically, I want to, uh, my focus in, uh, in my speaking skills and I hope that I will improve. Thank you, anyone else? This is Ahmed. Uh, so just I wanted to uh, invite Amir to join the Discord. He asked about the platform here. Uh, just I send the link on the uh, chat box. You must join the uh, Discord. We have the formal channel to speaking about the different topic. Okay. Anyway. Thank you, Ahmed. And I also noticed um, Amir's uh, comment to me about the pronunciation of his name. And I just want to say one thing about that. Um, when our, our languages, each of our languages have different sounds, right? English does not have the same sounds as the Russian language, does not have the same sounds as the Chinese language. And often, often the names of people who speak a language use sounds that are not in our own language. So when we're telling someone who speaks a different language than us, our name, remember, sometimes it's like we're teaching them part of our language. We might be teaching them a, to, uh, to make a sound that they don't know or are making for the first time. So um, that's one thing. Another is the way sounds are represented in different uh, alphabets or languages is different. So it, you might see the same letters like A-M-R, but in one language, you, that will be a different sound than in English. So um, names are tricky because uh, they include things about the culture, about the language, and about the pronunciation of text that, are, that we might not know. And so if, you, if it's important to you, that somebody pronounces your name correctly for you, the best way to learn pronunciation is to, to say things, right? So rather than to write it in letters, people may not know the pronunciation you're thinking. If you say it, that gives somebody a sample. Then they can listen to it and try to copy your sample. They still might not be able to pronounce your name the way you think it needs to be pronounced because again, like I said, the, the, the sounds of your language and including your name may not even exist in the language of the person you're talking to. So just, just keep that in mind when somebody pronounces your name uh, differently. Back to you, members of the silent subgroup. Aswal Duri. Go ahead. Um, I don't know, uh, should I... Um... Am I supposed to um, concise you, you or you, Zainab? Whatever you think makes sense. If you think it's valuable to summarize me, go ahead, or you can just say, bring in whatever you want. What do you want to do, okay. Esso? Uh, you said that uh, uh, there are different ways of pronouncing uh, uh, the name of somebody. It, um, uh, uh, it has differ, different uh, way of uh, pronunciation and the different alphabet are uh, returning to uh, the uh, exact or the specific language uh, I'm talking, uh, my uh, native language. So uh, that, that, even if it is written, okay, yes? Yeah, that's totally good enough. You got me, Aso, that's right. Okay, so the topic of today, I heard uh, uh, Anir um, suggesting a topic about uh, time management. Um, uh, so I, I see it is a valuable uh, issue to talk about because um, I see the well-organized person of his time uh, seems to everyone as a successful person. Uh, this is my uh, viewpoint. 
So um, uh, to do that, uh, all we need is to um, uh, make a schedule for our uh, daily tasks and um, the priority of these things I'm going to do. I like to put the, the first one, uh, which is um, so necessary to do in the first place. And then I specify them a time for each task and then um, make it happen without any uh, kind of um, saying um, uh, the word of uh, or the act of uh, procrastination or <laughs> I, delaying, um, in other words. Uh, there is a specific Aso. word. So, yeah. procrastination. Yes, exactly. No, no not exactly. I'm saying. So I'm saying it for you to repeat so you can get the pronunciation. So listen and repeat to me. Procrastination. Procrastination. Right? Yeah. Yeah, this is the exact word. Uh, so uh, without any procrastination, I, I suppose would, I say it right. <laughs> and, and, and because it might be a new word, would you like to tell people what procrastination is? It means uh, delaying the things you are you supposed to do in a specific time to another time, maybe to the next hour or to another day. Yeah. Not do it in this exact time you are going to do. Yeah. If you if if you need if you know that uh, it's important to clean your house, but instead you uh, want to you go to the movies, you're procrastinating on cleaning your house. Uh, you're putting it off something important that you want to do and doing something else instead. Great. I'm going to, uh, I want to go back yet again, inviting the silent subgroup in. There's just uh, th th three more minutes for the silent subgroup and then five minutes of surprises and learnings. So anyone other else? Hello, here is Salma Tosif. Who? Salma Tosif. I'm sorry. I, uh, Salma Tosif, go ahead. Yes, I am Salma Tosif. I joined this class today. Great. Well, and I you... am very happy. Salma Tosif, where are you from? I am from Pakistan, Islamabad. Okay. And you're happy. Keep going. Hello. Yeah, anything else you want to say? You're happy about being here? You joined the last few days. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? It sounds like you can't hear me. Hello? I think you're having a sound problem. Tosif, come back to us if you fix your sound problem. Although I don't know, you, you won't hear me Hello? saying that. Uh, Tausif, it sounds like you're not hearing me, so I'm going to mute you for now. Maybe somebody, Ahmed, could you just message her in text to let her know that we are talking to her and she can't hear us? Anyone else who is in the silent subgroup want to say something? Hello, this is Rami Stwe from Nepal. First of all, let me, let me tell you and check you whether... Uh, you can hear me or not? So oh, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me, Ramesh? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Then uh, I'd like to talk on different topics uh, these members talked in the earlier session. So first of all, the topics about time management and then Plato's apology, but Actually, I'm not reading that well, book. That's I'm sorry. I I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to interrupt you. Hold on. Okay. Uh, uh, hold on. Ahmed, actually, it's the opposite. We can hear Tausif, but she cannot hear us. Right? Yes. When, right? She was talking and we could hear her. I muted her. So now, of course, we can't hear if I muted her. But when she's off of mute, we can hear her, but she can't hear us. We're talking to her and she says, hello, hello, hello. She's not hearing us talking to her. That's what I wanted you to let her know. Back to you, Ramesh. Uh, thank you. And then the one 
person asked about the technique ELT also. That's and I'm very happy with your technique with somebody technique and then experience. So you give the space to all participants so that all participants get chance to express their ideas, views, and feelings. And I'm also very happy with with that of technique also. And then uh, on, another idea about the activity to improve or to enhance our English. So uh, with the <clears throat> reference to these uh, topics, uh, generally I do like listening to BBC and ABC news. There's uh, especially live on YouTube. And sometimes I watch uh, English movies even uh, in the afternoon, I watched one movie, but I forgot the name of the movie, but the story was very interesting because the story was about love affair. <laughs> and then the, Ramesh, the, love Ramesh, the nurse and the Ramesh, doctor. Ramesh, yes, I'm yes. gonna interrupt you because you're about to tell a story about a movie that you're watching and that's a little bit too far afield for now. I, I heard that you're satisfied with me and the way that I teach and being here and you wanted to share some things about how you're learning to join on right, the materials that you're using to learn. And I wanna leave it there because there's just, I'm gonna leave in three minutes and I wanted to really give quickly give people a chance, anybody else, a surprise, a learning, a satisfaction, a dissatisfaction, discovery, next move, we're ending. Go ahead, Bill. Uh, my surprise is that I am learning to listen so much better and patiently to the wonderful accents everyone has from around the world, and I can understand them better. Fantastic. Other surprises, learnings, satisfactions, dissatisfactions, discoveries, next moves. I have a piece of news that I'm bringing in a little bit late. Uh, I would have liked to bring it in at the beginning. My news is that um, the WhatsApp groups, the suggestion yesterday from Amira to create three new WhatsApp groups of different levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Um, I, 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 I created them. Pe many people have joined them. 50 or 100 people have joined each of them. And um, they're, it's working very well. I'm very satisfied. I'm pausing them because uh, rapid growth want to take it slow. So I'm, I'm going to pause. You can't write in them for a little while, maybe a day, um, but don't worry. I will open them up again. So just uh, be patient as I uh, set some things up. I, I need to do some things and uh, we'll continue with the WhatsApp groups. Um, back to you. Any final surprise or learning? Asalduri. Uh, so, uh, uh, I want to mention uh, satisfaction. Uh, the same point that you are talking in right now is that um, uh, I find uh, the members is so awesome. Yesterday uh, with the new um, method of uh, or strategy of uh, using uh, three uh, groups uh, of WhatsApp. Mm. It is so amazing. You're really satisfied with the strategy of having the three leveled groups in WhatsApp. And you really like the members that are participating. Yes. Great. This is Amira from Libya. Yes. And I'm uh, unstatified about uh, uh, intermediate group because uh, we have uh, a lot of beginner um, and uh, doing the same thing. Hello, hi, mm. how are you? Yeah. If, uh, if um, next step, I want uh, when the joint, uh, any member joined on this uh, level, uh, do uh, I want to do uh, the quick uh, test or uh, determine what's your level? Because, mm. yeah, because Amira, 
I'm gonna mm-hmm. I'm gonna summarize you because we're gonna end. You have a dissatisfaction and a next move. Dissatisfaction is that beginners are joining the intermediate WhatsApp group, and your next move is to kind of check in with their level uh, so that the quality of the intermediate group stays a little bit higher. And we're gonna leave it on that. Thank you everybody for participating today. If you want to come back uh, in two hours, we'll have a class with Siamek. Uh, from Afghanistan. Other, otherwise, I'll talk to you later and see you all later. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye for now. Bye, Manoj. Bye, Ahmed. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye.